And that is just one instance of the devastation that was noted across western Washington from this storm. It's known as a bomb cyclone, and I described it yesterday as meteorological perfection. The intensity of this storm was no joke. In fact, this was likely the strongest windstorm in the Seattle area in the last 18 years. We, had, we saw wind gusts of 60 miles per hour around Seattle, and one of the buoys that is directly underneath that low pressure center recorded a wind gust of 100 miles per hour basically directly underneath the low pressure center. What makes this a bomb cyclone? The definition of it is the minimum pressure, the low pressure drops by 24 millibars in less than 24 hours. This storm dropped 66 millibars, almost three times above what the definition of a bomb cyclone is. So that rapid intensification gives it a quite venomous sting in terms of the wind speeds. All of that, though, contained on the west side here in the inland northwest. We were spared from the worst of the winds, but some wind gusts were noted up to about 40 miles per hour around Whitman County from this storm, which is five to 600 miles away from Spokane.